Hello everyone, it is the Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Gotta get more followers. If you have not already, I encourage you to subscribe, turn on the alert, be notified whenever I put out a new video. In today's video, I am going to be going over how to connect Jigsaw Day Trader to Ninja Trader software. So a quick bit of information before I go through the steps. One, all this information is available on Jigsaw's website and I'll link the video down below that Jigsaw created. Now it's from 2017, but it still completely works. I just wanted to record my own version of it just so there is a fresh version of it and go through it from a user's perspective. So what you're looking at here is I have NinjaTrader up. I'm logged into a SIM account. This will work for your own accounts as well. So just to give you an idea of how the connections work, you are connecting NinjaTrader to your data feed. So however you connect NinjaTrader to your own brokerage accounts, this will work. And you do that obviously through your connection. So whatever connection you have, as long as you are connected to it, Jigsaw will essentially, after we go through the few steps, be able to pull data from NinjaTrader and NinjaTrader is being fed its data from your data provider. So we have to do a few things in order to make that data work between NinjaTrader and Jigsaw. One, we have to tell NinjaTrader it's okay to share its data. And then step two is we need to set up what Jigsaw will be looking for when it looks to NinjaTrader on what data it should be pulling. Now it's fairly quick, don't worry. Uh, step one is under tools and then options. So when you bring up the options, you want to go to automated trading interface and you want to click this box to make sure it's enabled. Now mine's already enabled because I've set this up previously, obviously, uh, but yours most likely won't be. I don't think mine was the first time I set this up. The other thing you want to do is you can select your default account. Um, so in this case, I'm going to be using SIM 101 and that is it here. Just hit apply and hit OK. So now NinjaTrader has the ability to share its data. Now, step two is when Jigsaw is looking to NinjaTrader on what data to pull, the way it does that is through the market analyzer. So if you click on new, go to market analyzer, and I know I have my kind of main window just kind of small here. Um, you know, you probably have yours maximized, but you know where to go. Go to new market analyzer. And what you need to do here is add the instruments that you want Jigsaw to pull. So for example, here in the background, we're looking at the ultra bond. Um, so if you right click in here, go add instruments. Now it brings up ones that you probably have already have on your list or that you trade frequently. So I'm just going to click a few of these. So I'm going to click on the ultra bond. I'm going to click on, uh, whatever the, the 10 year. And let's bring in the 30 year current contract. So now market analyzer is pulling this information. You need to do one more step here to allow Jigsaw to, again, kind of pull this information. Right click anywhere in this market analyzer box, go to columns. Okay, once the columns box opens, scroll down here in, in the available box and look for one called indicator. We're gonna click on it. Hit add down here. Once it comes in, it's going to default to the first one. Come over here on the right under properties, open up this very top box, scroll down and you're looking for JT connection. So this is creating essentially like a bridge between Jigsaw and Market Analyzer. That's all you need to do. Just hit OK or you can hit apply and then OK. And now you will notice here in the market analyzer box over here, it says JT connect. That's all you have to do on the Ninja Trader side. So let me show you now how it looks on the Jigsaw side. So with Jigsaw Day Trader open, I've created a new workspace. I don't have anything open. So I'm, you might be familiar with creating connections. You don't have to do this uh, with the method that we're using. So rather than connecting to something like Rhythmic or CQG directly, 
in Jigsaw. Jigsaw is just going to be pulling its information from NinjaTrader. So let, let me just show you what it looks like. So let's open a depth of market. So symbol search. So normally you would look here. In this situation though, we're going to go to platform. You see right here immediately, it recognizes NinjaTrader 8. Now I should mention, I still have NinjaTrader open, I just have it minimized. You have to keep NinjaTrader running because remember, Jigsaw is basically pulling its data from NinjaTrader. So when you go to platform, you see NinjaTrader 8 here. You're going to see some instruments here. These are the ones that you added. Now, mine looks a little bit different because I've set up previous stuff in the past, but this would be the items that you added to Market Analyzer. So let's just look at the Ultrabond, for example. Select Ultrabond. It already knows what account, and it figures out. Basically, all of these things, it kind of figures out for itself, but you can't change them if you need. You just need to select your symbol. Hit OK, and you'll see immediately it starts pulling data, and we can even now, I'm going to show you this. So this is relying on NinjaTrader. So let me bring up NinjaTrader. So right now I have Jigsaw Day Trader on the right, Ninja Trader on the left. Jigsaw is pulling all this trade information from Ninja Trader into here, and it does it fairly seamlessly. I've never had an issue with it. Um, it is real time. And I mean, if you really want to watch it for a minute, you can watch as the price ticks around here. You're going to see the price moving over here on the right. I will show you one last thing. So here is my Ninja Trader. It's logged in. You're seeing the depth of market. Let me just recenter it here. I'm going to disconnect NinjaTrader, and you'll see that Jigsaw will immediately stop pulling data. Right there. You see, it just stops. Okay, guys, I realized later on that I had not even shown a trade and that I should. So you are watching video. I'm kind of adding the commentary after the fact. Um, so on the right, I obviously have Jigsaw. On the left, I have NinjaTrader, the SIM account. And in the bottom left, I have it set to the positions box. So uh, first thing here, I enter a position on Jigsaw. And the second that it gets filled, you see it get filled on the NinjaTrader side as well. Basically, what I'm trying to show here is that anything you do at Jigsaw will execute like simultaneously on NinjaTrader. Because that's really all it is, is Jigsaw is basically just sitting on Ninja Trader, or it's a different way of viewing the data, however you want to think of it. Uh, so at this point, I am long. And you see there, I put in a take profit one tick above, and the second that I clicked on Jigsaw to set that take profit, you saw it populate on the left-hand side as well. You'll see here in a second, I actually then switch over to the Ninja Trader side, and I try to move the uh, stop loss. And when I do eventually move it, you'll see, so I'm moving it on Ninja Trader side, you see it move on the Jigsaw side as well. There's a slight delay there, and that has more to do with the screen recording and just the delay it causes than it is the actual execution. And you'll see here next, I end up going flat, I'm hovering over a flat button, and the second I hit on flat, everything disappears. Again, point being, it all happens at the same time. So there you go, and that's basically trading. And that is basically it, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Obviously, I'm just a user of Jigsaw, but I, I do enjoy the software, and I always try to help people out if they're trying to use it as well. Um, I will say, though, this works really flawlessly. Uh, it's a great way, and essentially what it is is, is it's a, they refer to it as a bridge between Jigsaw and NinjaTrader. It's a way for you to basically piggyback off data that you have in NinjaTrader, but use Jigsaw to trade on it. As I mentioned earlier, I'll link the original video that Jigsaw created down below if you want to see their uh, take on it. And hopefully that helps somebody out. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.